what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says for natural numbers x and y find the value of x and y such that x squared plus 4y squared is equal to xy minus 14 all squared well, our first step would be for us to expand the right hand side. So we have x squared plus 4y squared to be equal to. Now, expanding the right hand side, we have x squared y squared. Now, 2 times xy times negative 14. I'm going to have negative 28 xy now negative 14 squared gives plus 196 our next step will be for us to complete the square on the left hand side in other words make the left hand side a perfect square well the left hand side is very close to this perfect square x plus 2y all squared which is equal to x squared plus 2 times x times 2y is 4xy and now plus 2y squared is 4y squared you notice that i've already got x squared plus 4y squared x squared plus 4y squared the only difference is 4xy so i'm going to be adding 4xy to the left to make it a perfect square like this so we have x squared plus 4xy and now plus 4y squared equal to now the right hand side x squared y squared minus 28xy plus 196 remember as i add 4xy to the left i must also do the same to the right so plus 4xy now this is a perfect square like this so x plus 2y or squared equal to this is x squared y squared now these and these are like terms so negative 28xy plus 4xy is negative 24xy. Now plus 196. Now notice that the right hand side is very close to this perfect square. xy minus 12. All squared. So xy minus 12 all squared is equal to x squared y squared now 2 times xy times negative 12 is negative 24 xy now negative 12 squared is plus 144 so we can be able to write the right hand side like this by splitting 196 so this becomes x plus 2y all squared to be equal to x squared y squared minus 24 xy now 196 can be written into 144 so plus 144 plus 52 so we see that from here up to 144 is equal to a perfect square like this so let's write it in this form. So we have x plus 2y all squared to be equal to, now from here to 144 will be x, xy minus 12 all squared, now plus 52. Our next step will be for us to move xy minus 12 all squared to the left hand side. In order for us to have 
difference of two squares. Let's do that on the next slide. So moving this to the left, we have x plus 2y all squared. So as this move to the left, it becomes minus xy minus 12 all squared. And then equal to 52. So we have difference of two squares. So difference of two squares can be expressed as, for example, a squared minus b squared is same as a plus b times a minus b. So we can say this is in the form of a and this is in the form of b. So let's express this like this. So we have a plus b, that means a, a is x plus 2y plus b. B is xy minus 12 times A minus B. A is x plus 2y minus B. B is xy minus 12. And this is equal to 52. Our next step will be for us to simplify what we have inside of this bracket. By using this negative to multiply what we have here. So we have x plus 2y plus xy minus 12 times x plus 2y. Now use this negative to open up this bracket. We have negative xy. Now negative times negative gives positive 12. And this is equal to 52. So we have two factors on the left, which multiplies to give 52. Our next step will be for us to write the factors of 52. So the factors of 52 are, we have 52 times 1. We have 26 times 2. And we have 13 times 4. So we're going to be trying each of these factors to get the values of x and y. Let's do that on the next slide. So let's try the first case. So let's say case one. Well, this is going to be our case one. So we take this first factor, which is x plus 2y plus xy minus 12 to be equal to the bigger factor which is equal to 52 and take this other factor, which is X plus two Y minus X Y plus 12 to be equal to the smaller factor, which is one. Now let's add these two equations. So when you add these two equations, you're going to have X plus X is two X. Now two Y plus two Y, that's 4y. Now, xy plus minus, plus minus means minus. So, xy minus xy is 0. So, no need of writing that. So, negative 12 plus 12 is also 0. So, this is equal to 52 plus 1. That's 53. Now, notice that whatever 2 multiplies is even. And whatever 4 multiplies is also even. So when even number is added to another even number, we're going to be having a result of an even number. So we can say the left-hand side is even. But now notice that the right-hand side is odd. So this is not possible. So we're going to be rejecting this. Now, even when we switch the positions, let's say, for example, we chose this second one to be the bigger value, 52, and chose this first one to be the smaller value, 51, we're still going to add and we'll have the same result. So let's move on to the second case, which is 26 times 2. So let me call this case 2. So for case 2, 
we have x plus 2y plus xy minus 12 to be equal to the bigger value, which is 26. And we have this other factor, which is x plus 2y minus xy plus 12 to be equal to the smaller factor, which is 2. Now let's add. So on adding, x plus x is 2x. Now 2y plus 2y is 4y. Now xy plus minus xy is 0. Negative 12 plus 12 is also 0. So this is equal to 26 plus 2 is 28. Well, we can divide through by 2. Dividing through by 2, we have x plus 2y to be equal to 14. Let's keep this. Let me just call this equation 1 or call it equation star. That's it. Now, let's try it the other way around. This time, let's subtract. Let's subtract instead of adding. So subtracting, we have x minus x is 0, 2y minus 2y is 0. Now, xy minus minus, minus minus means plus. So xy plus xy is 2xy. Now, negative 12, negative 12 is negative 24. And this is equal to 24 minus 2 is 24. Now, let's move negative 24 to the right-hand side. So we have 2xy to be equal to 24. As negative 24 crosses to the right, it becomes plus 24. So this becomes 2xy equal to 24 plus 24 is 48. Now, dividing both sides by 2 in order to get xy, so 2 can go. So xy is equal to, now 48 divided by 2 is 24. So let's call this equation star star. Now let's solve this equation equation star and equation star star simultaneously. We're going to be doing that on the next slide. So these are the two equations we have, equation star and equation star star. So we can pick from equation star, making x the subject, we're going to move this 2y to the right hand side so that we have 14. As 2y crosses to the right, it becomes minus 2y. So we're going to be substituting this into our second equation. So let's do that. So we have x and x is 14 minus 2y times y equal to 24. Now let's open up this bracket. We have 14 times y is 14y minus 2y times y is 2y squared equal to 24. Now let's move everything to the right hand side. So when negative 2y squared crosses to the right, it becomes 2y squared. When 14y crosses to the right, it becomes minus 14y. I've already got 24 on the right, so 24 equal to 0. Our next step will be for us to divide through by 2, since 2 is common. So 2y squared divided by 2 is y squared, minus 14y divided by 2 is 7y, plus 24 divided by 2 is 12, and this is equal to 0. Now notice that this is a factorizable equation. So the factors of 12 that we're going to be using is negative 3 and negative 4. So this equation factorized to be y minus 3 times y minus 4. And this is equal to 0. So for the two cases using the zero factor theorem, we have 
y minus 3 to be equal to 0 and y minus 4 to be equal to 0. So for the first case, y will be equal to, as negative 3 crosses to the right, it becomes 4. Now for the second case, y will be equal to, as negative 4 crosses to the right, it becomes 4. Now this is 3. I made a mistake here. Yeah, sorry for that. So we have two values for y here, 3 and 4. We're going to be substituting each of these values here in order to get the corresponding value for x. So when y is 3, when y is equal to 3, let's substitute here. x will be equal to 14 minus 2y, y is 3. So x will be equal to 14 minus 2 times 3 is 6. So x will be equal to 8 from here. Now let's try for when y is equal to 4. What is going to be the corresponding value for x? So x will be equal to 14 minus 2y. y here is 4. So we have x to be equal to 14 minus 2 times 4 is 8. So x will be equal to 6. So writing the other pair of x and y, this will be equal to, for the first case, x is 8 and y is 3. Now for the second case, x is 6 and y is 4. And this is what we've got from this factor, 26 times 2. Now remember that we chose this first factor to be 26, which is the bigger one, and chose this second factor to be 2, which is a smaller one. Now, in order to make the video not to be too long, I would like you to do this as an homework. This time, choose this to be the bigger factor, 26, and choose this to be the smaller factor, 2, and see which other values of x and y you get. Now, for this third factor of 52, there is no solution for x and y because of this same reason, whereby the left-hand side is even and the right-hand side is odd. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up Subscribe if you haven't, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.